Let's practice this strong serve plus big forehand style with Victoria in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by White Life Studios. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. So this strong serve to follow up with big forehand strokes style of play is quite popular now in the big weekly tournaments. I, actually, not really now. It has started uh, months ago already, but in challenger level, well, it's quite popular. <laughs> so it can work pretty well versus a lot of styles. Low serve counter puncher, strong serve big forehand, volley style. All styles can be victim of this strong serve big forehand. So playing with that build, that combo has its uh, advantages and disadvantages, of course, like for all of their play styles. So let's list them. So among the advantages, I would say that having a strong serve often forces the uh, opponent to return a weaker ball, provided that you hit good spots on the uh, service box, far from your opponent's cycle of accuracy. And then you can hit hard on this weak ball to try and win right behind. Four, and even when the serve wasn't strong enough due to a slow swipe or for example on a second si a serve, like I just served there, second serve, the opponent generally can't return a very strong stroke. So it will be easier for you to manage the rally after your serve instead of being assaulted right away which would be the case if your serve was weak for instance when you are playing with a low serve aggressive baseliner or low serve counter puncher style and with your strong forehand you have a good chance if you are accurate enough of course to hit the winning forehand or at least to put your opponent in a difficult position because he or she has to return a hard stroke and then we try and return your big forehand one after another. That being said, I insist on the fact that you need to place your character well enough so as to avoid receiving the opponent's return on your backhand side because, well, your forehand is your, your best hand, your strongest hand, so better, of course, receive your, re your opponent's return on your forehand side. So if your opponent succeeds in playing the ball on your backhand, and if you have only a weak backhand, which is not really my case here, I have uh, at least uh, it depends on the match. I can have either 55 or 60. Depends on line, the lineup that the cards I use. So, but if you have only a weak backhand, then the rally is almost over because that will be very hard for you to take the initiative again. Unless you can wrong foot your opponent, of course. So here in my video, you can see that I have a decent backhand of 55 or 60. As I said, depending on the card, which is not too weak. So I can still put my opponent in a difficult position, even if I receive his return on my backhand, especially if I can't wrong foot him. So among the uh, disadvantages of this style, I would say that if the opponent has a very good agility, <laughs> which is not the case where if your opponent is playing with uh, Victoria, and a good forehand or backhand, the strong serve may not produce the desired effect if you can't hit good spots in the service box of your opponent. And the opponent will quickly move then to hit a good return quite easily on your backhand and then he may start to take the initiative in the rally if you don't succeed in hitting a good backhand return. So here you see that I'm facing in the previous match and in this one two Victoria characters. So that's a bit easier actually to manage. What you should be afraid most is to face a very, very agile Kaito. So, for instance, if I uh, am using this peon and I face tough 30 players uh, using a Kaito having 89 agility or even more, 90 agility, where it's, it's very hard to uh, 
to hit very um, to annoy them with my uh, strong serve and then to take the initiative Okay, so after the big update of 7th of May 2020, I find that it's easier to uh, play with the high serve strong forehand style because the server is now not too slow anymore because the agility has been buffed by the buff publisher. Remember, before the big update, well, the, uh, the high serve player had a hard time moving the character afterwards, after the serve. He um, he um, usually had uh, something around 30 in agility, and it, w it was um, very easily outflanked um, by drop shots on the serve. But since the big update, when it's not a problem of agility, <laughs> well, comes the issue of lack of stamina. So if you play with that style now, it uh, take a card having higher stamina or try to end rallies as fast as possible because otherwise you will be put in a very difficult position due to a lack of stamina especially if you play versus characters having a lot of stamina like um, Kaito opponents so of course take a Maestro Monty to give to yourself um, more stamina a stamina shield tier 2 of course because otherwise that would be very, very tricky to keep right. stamina One. high enough to last until the end of the match. So overall, to beat you, the opponent will try basically to take profit of your low stamina and weaker backhand. So even if you play with uh, the Master Monty, you will still have a lower stamina One. than the opponent if he chooses um, Kaito. So here I'm quite glad because uh, he had chosen the Choco Quartz which is not a string giving a very very high stamina level. Otherwise it would be tricky to, uh, to last if the rallies were long. Oh my gosh, yeah. I should have just hit that securely there. Uh, so your opponent will try to hit most of the time your backhand to root you to the spot before hitting the other side of the court. Two. Or your opponent will try to catch all balls and wait for you to deplete your stamina slowly. So you can try to balance a bit by increasing the stamina you, by reducing both forehand and serve strength in the process choosing a string having long catch is useless because you are too slow anyway to try and long catch all balls so I recommend you to further focus on ending rallies as fast as possible in three or four shots maximum you gotta target four shots when it, when it say three or four shots that include only your shots, not the ones hit by your opponent. And focus to really aggressive, to be very aggressive when you return your opponent's weak serve. If you don't succeed in winning the point in four shots maximum after your serve with that style, you can almost say that it's over because you will start to see your opponent take advantage since then in the rally with his better stamina. So here I'm playing against uh, a Kaito having much more st stamina, quite high agility versus the serve. Well, not very high, but high higher e enough not to be ace easily. So I have used uh, Victoria instead of uh, Diana in those matches, m mainly because Victoria offers a better forehand which is indispensable to hit a winning forehand after the opponent's return on your strong serve. Love. Diana does offer one more attribute point in agility and one more in serve, but um, has a weaker forehand of Victoria, so I, I don't like using Diana much. 
So I would say that uh, this strong uh, big forehand style works very well versus players who don't have a much higher agility than yourself. It can work against opponent having a high agility, very high agility, if you hit super accurately all your strokes. Hitting strong and accurate serves in tricky spots to return and hitting big forehand strokes to make them become, um, to get out of the opponent's reach. But well, those very accurate strokes we require a very high level of concentration and a good pattern reading so as to outflank your opponent. Out. So make sure that you have enough experience Two. if you want to play with um, that style in higher tour. Generally, I would say that the counter punch style is, uh, is more secure to play with. Into 7 and 8. And you can see that uh, my opponent can, yep, can use his uh, agility and stamina to return higher stamina to return a lot of uh, hits with uh, efficiency. Yeah, so I had to have flank him differently by using some cross court drop shots there, for instance. And of course, a very strong winner is killing the uh, the match, of course. So you have to take advantage of the very strong, very big forehand of Victoria. Here's the lineup. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me practice with the strong serve big forehand style in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wife Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon again, Play 365. Bye-bye.